My name is Christoph and welcome to the Quick Citry Workshop. In today's video, I'm going to show you what a beta is, a paper beta. And here next to me is um, something that I built for a client. And I just want to, uh, I'm not going to show how I made it. Uh, I'm just going to show you how it works and what is the purpose of it. So enjoy the video. So what we have here is fins that that moves on top of a, a bed of um, stationary fins. So these are rotating; they're like blades, but they don't really cut; they they shred. And um, the thing is designed in such a way that it's actually an oval pathway for the water to go around and around. And when uh, this uh, is turning, it actually forces whatever you throw in here to be broken up. So I've poured uh, pieces of cardboard, uh, just ordinary cardboard, and you can see it already, it started making, it's just a few pieces. And as it goes, it will actually turn everything in a pulp. So here I uh, am adding more the cardboard and this is just to test the machine. Um, I don't intend to really make something, I just wanted to see what the results are and it looks good. It is pulping up the cardboard nicely. Um, the blades are not sharp yet, uh, they still still work themselves in, but there's no leaks and I'm happy. Um, so draining all of this pulp, I'm just draining it uh, and pouring it on top of the screen so that I can see what the pulp looks like. And you can see after I squash out the water, it actually holds its shape. And now you know what a paper beater is. And this is the result. So this is the pulp. You can put this in a mold and, and squeeze all the water out and, and dry and you can create anything, any shape. This will keep its shape and when it dries it's a very strong lightweight material. So this is from the card, it's about one big box that I tore up and this is the pulp that is from that box. So the plant, that uh, the sisal uh, plant, is a very good source of fiber. The leaves are more than a meter long, and when they uh, take the leaves through a process where they extract the fibers, and after that boil it to soften it a little bit, um, it gets shredded up into smaller pieces, and that goes into the, the beater. And the beater will then continue making the, the fiber shorter and smaller until it reaches uh, the right length uh, depending on what paper is being made. So here you can see the, the water and pulp mixtures going round and around and every time it goes around it goes through those blades and it will get smaller and smaller. 
And by adjusting the, the rotor down, it actually goes closer to the bed and it makes the fibers uh, finer and finer. Also to add cotton, uh, gets cut up and added to the mixture, depending on what paper is being made. Cotton paper, you've all heard of that. And those fibers are softer, so that will result in a thinner, softer paper. Here, the mixture is just being pulled through a screen. And this is a hand-operated business. From here, it will go in between sheets of felt to dry out and be compressed together. And here you can see it's still wet. This is dried and this is the result. And these papers, uh, these pieces of papers are mainly for the art industry. Um, it is used by artists and printmakers and uh, it's very high end, good quality paper. There's also no limit to size, uh, depending on the tray and the, and the screen. Some of the paper, um, depending on, on, on how fine the fibers are, is like tracing paper. And some are very stiff and hard, and like cardboard. There's really no limit. Your only limit is your imagination. Different uh, Fibers can be used like banana leaves or any plant uh, that's got fibers in it and it will result in different colors and textures. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit that like button and I'll see you next week. Cheers.